Well, let's talk Texas. You have them now ranked number one in the AP top 25, but no, not just Texas. We're talking about Arch Manning. Arch Manning came in after QB1, Quinn Ewers went out in the second quarter with an abdominal injury. In the first play in the game, Arch Manning threw a 19 yard touchdown. And from there, there was no stopping him. He had five touchdowns in the game, including a 67 yard touchdown run. He hit almost 21 miles per hour on that run. What this did to me though, it didn't, to me, it didn't say, you gotta take Quinn Ewers out now and put Arch Manning in. It didn't replace QB1 for me. All it did was solidify that Texas is gonna be good, gonna be good for a while. They have a solid offensive line, a solid defensive line, core group of wide receivers, as Joel Klatt put it, if you're the head coach, if you're a Texas fan, you are excited because what this showed is if when QB1 goes down, there's no worry, right? Arch Manning is going to step in. He's a very talented player. This makes me excited for Texas. Obviously, now they're ranked number one in the top 25. But this conversation, and this is what I want to ask you about, is should Quinn yours be out of the Heisman conversation? Arch Manning, his, you know, the points to bet him to be a Heisman winner have significantly improved. One game, you're not taking Quinn yours out of the Heisman conversation, right? To me, Quinn yours is going to still be at that Heisman ceremony in New York. I have him still in that top five of who to watch for Heisman. Arch Manning is an amazing player, but that one game doesn't show me he needs to be in the Heisman conversation, right? So let me know what you guys think, your thoughts below, your thoughts just on Texas, they're now number one, and then what you think is going to happen with Quinn Yours and Arch Manning. Until next time, see you next time on Peyton's Playbook.